A fire in Gloucester several weeks back devastated a family and a community. A woman died trying to save three grandchildren from the fire. Tonight, there is an effort to help the survivors of that fire. 13 News reporter Brian Farrell is just back from Gloucester. And Brian, the man behind this, says he felt like he just had to do something. Other business owners and many other people in Gloucester stepped in to help the Grogans soon after the fire. Alan Alexander knew he could do something. It was just a matter of figuring out what that was. And as a result, people have a chance to win some recreation. Creation time using that win to support the Grogan family. As my wife and I were going to the gym that morning, we see all these emergency vehicles of every type and description. Beyond a tree line, Alan Alexander says they also noticed a glow. An hour and a half would pass before he and his wife knew what was happening that day last month in Gloucester. About a mile from their home, another had caught fire. Virginia Grogan would die trying to save three of her grandchildren from the burning and smoke filled house. I didn't know the Grogans personally. But just as a parent, a neighbor, the thought of losing four members of a family of seven, just like that, and just never knowing, it, just, it, it really hit me hard. Alexander, a charter boat captain, asked himself the question a lot of people did. What can I do? For him, the answer was to auction off his services. People can bid on a full day of charter boat fishing, all money going to the Grogan family. His daughter, who runs a kayaking business with Alexander, liked the idea, which prompted another auction. Bidders have a shot at two kayaking trips. Alexander promises the experiences will be top-notch, pointing out in the end, it's not about time on the water or getting it for a bargain. It's about a bigger experience for everyone involved. You know, the majority of my life, I was a taker, and I'm at the point where I, I want to give back. And when you live in a community like Gloucester and you see all these people pulling together at one time, it, it strikes a chord. The money raised goes into the fund for the Grogans that their church is overseeing. The auctions close Thursday, Valentine's Day at noon. You'll find information about them in this story on WDEC.com. Brian Farrell, 13 News.